Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Christopher Bello. I'm a full grade scholar currently in Chicago, Illinois, studying for Master of Applied Science in Power Engineering. I come from Malawi. Malawi is in the south, eastern part of Africa. Back home, I'm also a co-founder of a sustainable energy company called Fresh Energy Limited. In this video, we are going to talk about the Fulbright program. We are going to give you an overview of the Fulbright program. Welcome everyone. So, first of all, let's start with a disclaimer that views and information presented in this video are personal and do not represent the Fulbright program of the U.S. Department of State. So what is the Fulbright Program? The Fulbright Program is a flagship international education exchange program. It is sponsored by the U.S. government and uh, designed to increase mutual understanding between the people of the, near, the United States and the people of other countries. The program provides participants chosen for their academic merit and leadership potential with the opportunity to study, teach, and conduct research exchange ideas and contribute to finding solutions to shared international concerns. Grants are available for U.S. citizens to go abroad and for non-U.S. citizens with no U.S. permanent residence to come to the U.S. The program is an important element of the United States bilateral relationships with countries around the world. U.S. and foreign government jointly set priorities for the exchange program. So when the program uh, started in 1945 by James William Fulbright, he proposed a bill to use the proceeds from selling surplus US government war property to fund international exchange between the US and uh, other countries. The Fulbright program was basically an attempt to promote peace in the understanding through education exchange. Uh, the primary source of the funding for the Fulbright program is an annual appropriation made by the US Congress to the US Department of State. Participating governments and uh, host institution, institutions, corporations and foundations in foreign countries and in the United States also provide direct and uh, indirect support. The US government's uh, Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs is the one that administers the Fulbright program and the policy guidelines established by the Fulbright Foreign Scholarship Board with assistance of Fulbright commissions in about 49 countries, some U.S. embassies, in more than 100 other countries and other cooperating agencies in the United States. The program awards approximately 8,000 grants annually, so roughly about 2,000 U.S. students, 4,000 foreign students, over 800 U.S. scholars and 900 visiting scholars receive awards in uh, addition to several hundred teachers and professionals. So more than 400,000 Fulbrighters from over 160 countries have participated in the program since inception in 1946. So currently the Fulbright program operates in over 160 countries. So what is the Fulbright Foreign Scholarship Board? Um, this is composed of 12 educational and public leaders who are appointed by the President of the United States. Their work is uh, to formulate policies for the administration of the Fulbright program, establish criteria for the selection of candidates, and to select candidates nominated for the award. So, who are the bi-national Fulbright commissions and foundations? Most of these are funded jointly by the U.S. in partner government. Uh, they develop priorities for the program, including numbers and categories of grants. More specifically, they plan and implement education exchanges, recruit and nominate candidates for the fellowships, designate qualified local educational institutions to host Fulbrighters. They fundraise, engage alumni, support incoming U.S. Fulbrighters, and in many countries, operate an information service for the public on educational opportunities in the United States. Currently, Fortnite commissions are active 
Each commission or foundation has a board composed of Americans and citizens of participating countries. In a country where there is no commission or foundation, the public affairs section of the U.S. Embassy develops and supervises the Fulbright program. So what kind of... Uh, so we said the Fulbright program offers over 8,000 grants each year to U.S. and foreign students, scholars, teachers, artists, scientists, and professionals. So these are the grants that are available. For non-US students to come to the United States, uh, there is the Fulbright Foreign Student Program, which offers opportunities for foreign graduate students, uh, young professionals and artists from abroad to study, conduct research, or teach their native languages in the US. Then there is the Fulbright Foreign, foreign Language Teaching Assistant Program, which places early career educators as foreign language teaching assistants at U.S. colleges and universities. The aim is improving U.S. students' foreign language abilities and knowledge of other countries. In addition uh, to performing teaching duties, the LF, FLTAs engage in coursework, conduct language in cultural activities in their host communities, and improve their English language speaking skills and knowledge of the United States. For non-US scholars to come to the United States, there is the Fulbright Visiting Scholar Program, which provides grants to approximately 900 foreign scholars from over 100 countries to conduct postdoctoral research at US institutions from an academic semester to about, say, a full academic year. Then there is the Fulbright Act initiative which supports scholars, researchers and professionals from Arctic Council member countries to carry out collaborative research on public policy, policy questions related to the unique challenges of the Arctic region. The goal is to create a network to, Here's what I found on the internet. to stimulate international collaboration on Arctic issues while increasing mutual understanding between the people of the United States and the people of other countries. For teachers, there's the Fulbright teacher exchanges which provide opportunities for U.S. and as well as international primary and secondary educators to develop their educational practice and bring international knowledge and skills perspective to their classrooms and schools. Through exchange, and professional learning programs, participants improve educational outcomes and prepare youth for success in a globalized, interconnected world. For professionals, uh, grants for non-US professionals to come to the United States, there is the Hubert H. Humphrey program, which brings 200 outstanding mid-career professionals from countries instead of developing or transition uh, to the United States to engage in land degree study and related professional experiences at selected United States universities. Then uh, for the same professional, there is the Fulbright Foreign Student Program, which we already outlined above, that offers opportunities for foreign graduate students, young professionals and artists from abroad to study, conduct research and teach their native languages in the US. There is also the Fulbright European Union Scholar in Residence, EUSRR, which aims to strengthen the U.S. expertise in the EU affairs. The program brings scholars and professionals from EU countries to the U.S. college and university campuses for about a semester-long grants to give guest lectures and seminars, consult with faculty and students on research, engage in collaborative study, and provide outreach neighboring institutions and the local community. Thank you. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for watching video next time. Remember to like, comment, above all, subscribe. Next time.